I'm kind of excited that I'm here and fighting the nerves back, but uh, it's going to be one of the biggest moments of my life. I think just in me as a little baby, there's always this fighter. Robbie's so confident as he goes to the edge of that 100 foot drop. One day I saw another kid come up the street. He was riding a little mini bike, and I remember just seeing that and just totally captivated me. That motorcycle alone would terrify a normal human being. From that point on, it's just been a wild ride. Now comes the hardest part. Crashed many of push bikes, split, split skulls and all these injuries. As if 10 stories skyrocketing into the air isn't enough. And every day I get to ride my dirt bike, it's a blessing to me. Here we go. Crazy, scary, death defying. Awesome. A dream of something and to do it and to ride away from it. It's, it's amazing. What more is there to say? I had this dream of being the, the, the best freestyle rider you know, on the planet and uh, I believe deep down inside that I'm worthy of it. Last year I put a lot of work in, learning some new tricks, refining my old tricks and I felt like I went to X Games with you know enough to to take them all down. He's sitting in second position right now. He's really trying to just stay calm, and I think uh, I think at the moment just kind of got away from me. And Can he do it better? Is the question. I actually remember it quite clearly. What I was doing was the body varial. Just came into the ramp, and I just tried to get in the spin too early. And as I did it, the sole of my boot collected the seat, and it just stopped my rotation. So I was just stuck in midair at zero gravity, and I couldn't reach the bike to kind of get control, and I realized I was going down. And at that point, I mean, all I could see was Mother Nature just smiling, waiting for me. To my absolute astonishment, I got up and stood up, and I moved my arms, and nothing was dislocated, and my legs were fine, and my head was fine, and then I realized something's wrong with my wrist. I couldn't even grab the handlebar and, and, and hold it with any force. It was, it was totally weak in the wrist, and I had to pull out of the event. It actually reduced me to tears. After the injury at, at X Games, I just didn't want to believe that my year was jeopardized. A few weeks went by, and I went to London and did an event in London and rode there and, and actually crashed again on the same trip. After that trip to London, I spoke to people at Red Bull and said, you know, I, I really am beat up, I need some care. And, and they said that we're going to take you to our doctors, we've got the best doctors in the world. And uh, so I took my first trip to, to DISC and met Dr. Dr. Knight. He, uh, you know, pretty much explained to me that the injury I had was, you know, I was risking a lot, potentially your career could be over. When Robbie first came to see me, he was two months out from his wrist injury that had really gone undiagnosed. He had a very unique injury in that he fractured the capitate bone. It's right here in the center of the wrist, and that bone is, is usually from a very high impact injury and rarely broken. And when it is, it's, uh, it's a unique treatment because this entire bone actually can die and just fall apart into a million pieces because time was of, of the essence. Had him come to disc on an outpatient surgery basis, met him there that morning, uh, and then perform the procedure. See you with a fixed hand. It's very delicate surgery. It needs to be done as quick as possible. With that in mind, you have to aggressively treat it in that you can't just usually treat it in the cast. So we essentially had to clean out between the bones, put it back in place, and surprisingly, it went back into place pretty easily. Uh, and then we put several pins across it. I was home later that night on the couch and quite comfortable, actually. And over the next few weeks, it, it healed up. It came to the time where he pulled the pins out and we had perfect alignment with the joint, so everything was looking like I was going to have my wrist back and pretty much 100% use of it. I've taken care of many elite athletes over the years, but being an extreme athlete, there's a different timeline on getting them back to their sport quickly. With Robbie, he had to have it fixed immediately and uh, can take anywhere from six weeks to three months. He had healed within five weeks, which is phenomenal. With the perfect union and the perfect alignment, um, I was set. To, uh, to get back on the bike in the shortest amount of time. So you gotta understand, I've broken around 30 bones, so I've dealt with it all. And to go to this was just, it was a delight. I mean, I try every day to be the best I can be, and it was just cool to see people being the best they could be in the medical world. For me, riding dirt bikes is just, every day I learn something different, no matter which day it is. Everything I do now, I really think about how, how am I doing, am I doing this the right way? And with my jumps that I'm doing now, there's only one way to do them, and if I don't do them, you know, crossing every T, dotting every I, pretty much gonna crash and uh, pay the ultimate price. I count the lucky stars every day.
Well, it's becoming a bit of a song lately. It's, it's really kind of starting to be sweet, so. They told me I'd never write again. They told me my vision may never return. They told me motocross wasn't for me. Anything else you want to tell me?